Hi guys, Dave here. I just want to give you a quick rundown of a DIY brine strip hatchery that I made. Maybe useful to some of you guys. It's absolute minutes to make. Works a treat. And if anyone's got fry, they're a godsend. I mean, some of the things you'll need. You'll need standard silicone airline. We have plenty. I'm sure you have plenty of that kicking around. Some uh, fittings for it, just T's and valves really. You also need some brown shrimp eggs obviously. And these things here, which are an absolute game changer. I'll, I'll pop links in the description of where you can get all this stuff and, and how I made it. I mean, for making the bases, I like to use these bottles because they're shaped and they hold they hold the vessel on top a lot better because they're narrower. So I make four because I like to feed two um, a day. Oh, looks like the fish are trying to spawn over there. Not interested in that. Um, sorry, where was it? I, I like to feed two a day. And because the brine shrimp take 48 hours to hatch, you set one away, I set two with the brine shrimp eggs in it, 24 hours later I'll set the other two and then that will give me two vessels to harvest every single day. So you want to cut four, four bases and then you want four vessels, I just use standard bottles for these, cut the bottom off. So what you end up with is four like that and four like that and then you want to drill a 10mm hole in the bottom of the bases for the airline to feed through and that's why I like to use the different shaped bottles because they hold that perfectly and you need to cut yourself a foot around a foot, it doesn't have to be exact, it's not rocket science, around a foot of uh, the airline and that just pushes on over the end of them valves. As I said I will pop the links up where you can buy them, they ain't expensive. That then screws onto your vessel. And then you want to feed the airline there. So basically that's what you end up with and if you get four of those knocked up and then I'll, I'll take you in and show you how I have mine up and running and how to harvest them and definitely minutes to make um, by far the best way. I, I tried drilling holes and standard lids and bulging the pipe through but they all leaked and I had hassle so this is definitely the best way. It's worked for me and it works great. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it can help you out. And uh, I'll take you in and show you, show you the working. Cheers.